please join us in welcoming to the Future Work stage, Indeed CEO Chris Himes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second annual Indeed Future Works, our conference where talent professionals come together and share ideas on how to build a better future of work. I am so excited to be back here with all of you in person in Atlanta. I'd like to welcome everyone joining us virtually from around the world. And I want to start where I always start with our mission. And indeed, we help people get jobs. This is what gets us out of bed in the morning and what keeps us going all day. And that is much more than just a slogan on a t-shirt. This is our connection to the people whose lives we touch every single day. And we know that you all share this mission with us. We all help people get jobs. And to all of us and to those people that you hire, work is so much more than just a job for people all around the world. Work provides a sense of purpose and meaning, and we believe that when people looking for better work connect with those offering it, the world works better. And indeed, we have a front row seat to the world of work. We're now helping more than 350 million job seekers every month connect with three and a half million employers. And while those are very big numbers, our focus is on getting every single one of them a job. People who want to put food on the table, who want to learn and grow, who want to find purpose and meaning in their lives. People like my friend, Anthony Jackson. Anthony grew up in East Austin and experienced housing instability and homelessness. He bounced around between shelters, hotels, cars, and friends' homes. He was the star on his college basketball team, but lived in his car while finishing up school and found himself unhoused yet again after graduation. After finally getting back on his feet, Anthony decided to dedicate his life and his work to helping others experiencing homelessness. He started a nonprofit in Austin called We Can Now, which brings volunteers directly into the community. They distribute necessities, they offer support for developing life skills and finding jobs, and even helping folks transition into housing through a diversion program. For Anthony, his job is where he finds his sense of purpose and meaning. His work gives him the opportunity to repay the extraordinary love and support that helped him turn his own life around. And indeed, no matter how many people we help, we know that every single job can mean everything to someone. And we are helping a whole lot of people. Our vision to make hiring simple, fast, and more human is yielding pretty amazing results. Someone today finds a job on Indeed every three seconds. By the time I walk off the stage, 350 more people will get a job. But when we talk to folks like you every day, we know there's still so much hard work ahead to build a better future of work, and we take that responsibility very seriously. The past few years have had their share of challenges for everyone, but especially for professionals in our industry. And as if there already wasn't enough disruption in the world of work, another source of uncertainty has recently taken over the narrative, one that will certainly change the world of work as we know it. Artificial intelligence, AI, is dominating the conversation on the future of work. And right now, there is no bigger question than whether AI will help or hurt the world of work. Of course, the question of whether technology will create or destroy jobs is nothing new. And though AI is certainly having a moment right now, it's also not new. AI has been around for decades. We interact with it all day, every day, whether it's recommending the next video that we watch on TikTok, or helping us navigate from the coffee shop to the office, or recognizing our face to securely unlock our phone, which, according to research, we do 110 times a day. So literally all day, every day, we're interacting with AI. It's so embedded in our daily lives that we barely recognize it. Except right now, suddenly, we are recognizing it. This chart is, uh, shows Google search trends from 2004 to the present. And what you can see very, very clearly is that interest in AI has simply exploded just since December of last year. So what's up with this? What, what is going on? Why is AI suddenly dominating the conversation? Well, the culprit most likely is ChatGPT. As you probably know, ChatGPT is an AI system based on a technology 
known as a large language model, or LLM, also known as generative AI. And ChatGPT has captured the imagination of millions of people for a whole host of reasons, but one of them is that these other special purpose AI systems that recommend videos or unlock your phone, you can't really interact with those. But with ChatGPT, you can just talk to it. You can ask any question at all, anything like write a biblical verse in the style of the Kim, King James Bible explaining how to remove a peanut butter sandwich from a VCR. Somebody did that, and if you ask this question to ChatGPT, it will not only answer, it will give you an answer that is whimsical and humorous, and it feels almost human-like. But it can also do some other human-like things that might not feel so fun and whimsical to everyone. The latest version of ChatGPT has scored in the 90th percentile on the SAT, the GRE, the LSAT, the bar exam. It has scored a four or five on 13 different advanced placement exams and has even aced intro through advanced sommelier theory. So suddenly, a whole bunch of people who thought their jobs were safe from automation are getting the existential sweats at these feats of supposed human intelligence. So all this being said, how should we feel about this? I was on a panel a few weeks back and someone asked this question, are you excited or concerned about AI? And my answer was yes. I am enthusiastically excited. And you'll, you'll hear quite a bit about this today, but I'm also enthusiastically concerned and I think it's not only possible but important for us to hold both of those at the same time. So let's, let's start with some of the concerns. My first is bias. AI is built from data, data comes from humans. Humans, unfortunately, are far from perfect. And we know, especially in our field, that bias and barriers exist in hiring. In a study I'd imagine you have all seen, researchers sent 5,000 resumes to 1,300 different employment ads. The resumes were exactly the same. The only thing they changed were the names. They used two white-sounding names, Emily and Greg, two black-sounding names, Lakeisha and Jamal. And depressingly, but not surprisingly, Lakeisha and Jamal had to send out 50% more resumes to get the same number of callbacks. So when AI models are built from data with embedded bias like this, those models encode, replicate, and scale that bias. Bloomberg recently demonstrated this with an extraordinary study. They asked generative AI to create images of workers in different fields and analyze the skin tones of those images by occupation. Higher paying jobs, like the ones you see at the top, architect and CEO, were dominated by images of workers with lighter skin tones. With lower paying jobs, like fast food worker and social worker, they was, those were dominated by darker skin tones. And while it is true that more white people are in higher paying jobs, throughout the study, AI significantly amplified these stereotypes. Bias and barriers to employment are significant. In the US, an estimated 42 million Americans live with disabilities. 70 million lack a four-year college degree. 77 million have a criminal record. With a civilian labor force that is just 168 million, the truth is that the majority of people face barriers to employment. And while AI has the potential to contribute to bias and inequality, at the same time, we see a promising path forward. Indeed, has made significant commitments to responsible AI practices, which can ultimately help reduce inequalities in hiring. In just a bit, LaFawn Davis, Indeed's Senior Vice President of Environmental, Social, and Governance, will take the stage, and will share a whole lot more about equitable AI practices in hiring. Now, my main concern, probably not surprisingly, is the near certain impact of AI on jobs. Over the long run, it does seem clear that technology's had a positive impact on humanity. Today, we work fewer hours in safer conditions, and by nearly all measures, enjoy a higher quality of life than ever before. But each individual cycle of disruption means the loss of livelihood for individual human lives. And these cycles of disruption are getting faster and faster. The full impact of the steam engine accelerated over many generations. But the travel, retail, and music industries were turned completely upside down by the internet in less than a decade. With AI, it's conceivable that college students might now find themselves learning skills that are obsolete by the time they graduate. So what does this mean 
for the future of the labor market. Well, in January, the Indeed Hiring Lab economists studied which industries are most likely to be impacted by generative AI, like ChatGPT. They looked at 2,500 distinct skills from Indeed job listings to assess ChatGPT's ability to perform each task, which gives us insight into which jobs might be impacted the most. This is a, a small sampling of it. The darker colors show skills where ChatGPT performs quite well, the lighter colors where it performs poorly. On the top, you see jobs like childcare, construction, and therapy. These appear less impacted since they really need physical or face-to-face -face interactions, which AI can't quite do. On the bottom are sectors like legal, finance, and yes, HR, which might see significant impact. And to be clear, this doesn't mean that these jobs are likely to be replaced, but it does suggest they will change dramatically in the coming years. The hiring lab will be releasing more AI studies over the coming months. Please stay tuned, and please don't miss Chief Econom Economist Svenja Gudel, the head of Indeed Hiring Lab, on the WonderWorks stage later today. She'll be talking about post-pandemic job trends. So, yes, I have considerable concerns about AI, but I'm here to say that despite those concerns, there is plenty to be excited about. Recent advancements in AI have been breathtaking. In just the past few years, we've seen farmers use AI to combat pests and disease, an AI-powered brain implant that helped a paralyzed man walk using his thoughts. And just last month, AI helped India's historic Chandrayaan-3 mission land safely on the south pole of the moon. And of course, AI helps people get jobs. And indeed, AI has helped power extraordinary improvements in matching job seekers to jobs. When you look at Indeed today, you see AI absolutely everywhere. When a job seeker views a job, our AI uses hundreds of millions of salary data points to estimate the pay for that job, and it helps the job seeker see how that pay matches their expectations. When you post a job to Indeed, our AI leverages data about every job and every job seeker on Indeed to help you see how many applications you're likely to get, and our AI recommends the right budget to meet your hiring needs. AI has powered Indeed job search from the very beginning, but it's now driving matching in new and even more exciting ways. Today, when a job seeker visits Indeed, they don't even need to search. Our recommendation AI delivers each job seeker a personalized feed of the best matches. And job seekers love these jobs, in fact, they are 55% more likely to apply to an AI recommendation than to a job they see in search results. Now, we're not just recommending matches to job seekers when you post a job on Indeed. Our AI recommends candidates that match your requirements before they even see your job. You can choose the candidates that are the best fit and invite them to apply with a single click. Now, this, this deserves a, a moment of attention for job seekers our AI is recommending a job completely on its own. But with these matched candidates, our AI makes recommendations, and then you select the best matches from them. What we're really doing is we're combining the power of AI with the incredible power of human judgment, the power of you. It is smart, it's fast, and it's incredibly effective. So job seekers really, really love these jobs. I said a minute ago that they were 55% more likely to apply to an AI recommendation than a job they found in search. Job seekers are 17 times more likely to apply to an AI plus human match than to search alone. And this is really what we mean when we say we want to make hiring more human. And although AI is everywhere at Indeed, we're really just getting started with some of the most exciting AI-powered features. For many years, we've heard from you over and over again that one of the most difficult and time-consuming tasks in hiring is writing job descriptions. I have never met a talent professional who says they love writing job descriptions, uh, or one who even feels confident in the descriptions that they write. So we've spent the past two years building and fine-tuning an AI-powered job description generator that is incredibly simple and incredibly effective. You start with a job title, and a location. And we automatically recommend relevant requirements, licenses, and skills you can select with just a few clicks. You specify pay, and our AI will compare that pay with local listings and job seeker preferences and recommend competitive pay ranges. 
And then generative AI will create a job description from all of that information. You can use that, you can edit it, you can regenerate to see more options. But the key is that our AI is recommending job descriptions that are most likely to attract job seekers. This can take a, writing a typical job description from two hours down to up just about five minutes. And jobs that use our AI JD generator on average get 16% more applications. Uh, this is available today, it is completely free. Earlier, I uh, showed our AI-powered matched candidates. This is uh, one of the most popular uh, features that we've had for jobs that are posted on Indeed. But I'm excited to share uh, some things coming very soon. Those jobs, um, those uh, matched candidates have not been available for jobs that are on your ATS until now. With this new development that we're unveiling, you'll be able to claim any job from your, your ATS and see the same exact AI-powered matches instantly. We also have uh, new, brand new AI-powered features that are gonna do even more coming very soon. As you review each of these match recommendations, you can see AI-generated candidate highlights. We'll summarize the key skill and experience matches and potential gaps. Once you find the right candidate, you can use our AI-powered smart message feature which will use generative AI to automatically compose a personalized message to the job seeker explaining why your job is just right for them. And then you can use AI to customize the message further. You can make it shorter or longer, more formal or more casual. This afternoon, Maggie Hulse and Raj Mukherjee will share even more details on these exciting AI-driven innovations and also give a peek into where we're headed in the future. And you can preview all of these features today in Teamworks. AI is an extraordinarily powerful technology, and there are certainly reasons to be concerned, but hopefully, at this point, you also agree there are many reasons to be excited. There's no question that AI will have a tremendous impact on the world of work. At Indeed, responsible AI means that we are focused on keeping humans at the center of everything. We're not trying to build a recruiting robot to replace humans. What we're really trying to do is build a Tony Stark Iron Man suit that makes recruiters able to fly and shoot lasers and partner with AI to generate better job descriptions and send personalized messages that are 17 times or 100 times more effective. This is what we believe the power of humanity and AI can together bring. Which brings me back to my friend Anthony. Earlier this year, I had the opportunity to join the We Can Now team on a Sunday afternoon in Austin. We spent the day distributing fresh food, hygiene products, diapers, blankets, clothing, and other essentials. This work is really all about human connection, one person connecting with another. In our volunteer training, one thing Anthony stressed is that the most important thing we can do is to look everyone directly in the eye. For the unhoused community, seeing humanity in one another is every bit as important as food and blankets. Helping people get jobs is about seeing humanity in one another. This is our commitment to you, to partner with you to keep humanity at the heart of hiring. We all know the world can work better. Together, we can help build a better future of work. Thank you.